Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In both Anime Studio Debut and Pro, you have the ability to create an automatic voice sync. What you do is create some mouth poses with a switch layer and then Anime Studio will match those mouth poses to the sound file that you bring in. So for this demonstration, you can see I already have a character made up, and I can just zoom in here. For the mouth, I have created a switch layer, and this switch layer has five poses. The first stage at the bottom is closed, and then I have one that's slightly open, a little bit more open, more open, and finally wide open. So it doesn't matter what you name these poses, just as long as you start with the closed one at the bottom, then you have the widest one at the top, and then varying degrees of that in between. So now the next step is to import an audio file that you want to sync this mouth to. So we can go to File, Import, Audio File. And now browse for the audio file, in this case, I'll pick the audio file I recorded in a previous lesson and click Open. We can now see that the audio file is in our switch layer, and we can take this out of the switch layer too if we wish, put it in the character bone layer or outside. It just depends on where you want to put it and where you want to organize it. But now that you've done that, double click to go into the mouth switch layer, choose the switch tab, in here, you can select the audio source to sync to. Select the file that you imported, and then click OK. You can see now the switch layer now has keyframes on the timeline. This is because Anime Studio has detected the sound file and applied keyframes accordingly. So now if we play this, Hi everybody, I'm recording in Anime Studio. You can see now that the mouth animates to your keyframes. Now this method isn't perfect. It can be used in some cases, but there is another way to sync voices to mouths. I'll open up another file to demonstrate. This next method involves the use of phonemes, or in other words, the shape our mouth makes when we create certain sounds. For this process, we'll be using Anime Studio plus a free piece of software called Papagayo. These two softwares work well together to create sound syncing for our voices. So first, you'll need to download Papagayo. And you can find Papagayo at lostmarble.com slash Papagayo. Here you can download the Windows, Mac OS, or Linux versions of the software. Once you have done that, we will need to import or create a switch layer for our mouth in Anime Studio. So I'll pop back here. Now in order for this to work, we need a switch layer that contains different shapes for the different sounds that our mouth will be making. You can do this manually, of course, or to save time, we can import one of the mouths that Papagayo already has pre-made. So if I go to File, Import, Anime Studio object, I can locate the mouths file, which I already brought in from the Papagayo directory into my personal directory here. You will find this file again in the Papagayo directory. In other words, the directory you installed Papagayo to and click open. Now I have one of four mouths I can choose from. I will choose mouth number one and click OK and now a switch layer has been brought into my character. Taking the transform layer tool, I can scale this down, and then bring it in like this. If we look at the switch layer, you can see we have all sorts of sounds, A, O, E, U, and so on. So now we have a mouth for our character. The next step is to open up Papagayo and import our sound file. So make sure you have Papagayo open and then go to File, Open, 
find your sound file. I'll just use the one I used from the first portion of this lesson and choose open. So now you'll see a few different things. You have, of course, the sound file on your window. You also have the frames per second on the right. You'll want to set this to the frames per second that your Anime Studio project file is. In this case, mine is 24. And you can choose a mouth for your preview. In this case, I will choose mouth one, since that is the same mouth I imported into my project file. So next, Hi everybody, I'm recording in Anime Studio. We now will want to type out exactly what that file said. Once you've done that, hit your chosen language. And now Papagayo will go through and break down all of the words that you have created in this process. Now, it may have some trouble with some words. In this case, it doesn't understand anime. So let's help it out. So it starts with an A sound, and then we go into an N or an E sound, and then, the, and then there is an M sound followed by an A sound. So once we've finished that, we can click OK. Now, as you can see, we have broken this down. The software has broken this down and we now have different shapes going through this entire sound file. So if we click play. Hi, everybody. I'm recording in Anime Studio. We can see Papagayo arranged this how it thought it was supposed to be arranged. But sometimes it needs a little bit of help, which is what we're going to do right now. First, the sound file doesn't start until about frame 20 on the screen here. So if I grab the green piece, hold down my left mouse button and drag this forward to about where it starts, right here, I can release. And now we have everything going forward a bit more. So now if I scrub through, High ends right about there, so that's pretty good. Everybody. everybody ends here, and it doesn't keep going past this. So I can click and drag and just shorten this. I'm starts right about here. Nudge that over. It ends right there, so we can nudge that down one. Recording starts here. And then it ends right about here. And then we end right there. So it's just a matter of hearing it out, going through, and rearranging any of the words that need to be rearranged. So now if we go back and play this. Hi, everybody. I'm recording in Anime Studio. You can see that looks a lot better. So once you have created your sync, you can go to Export Voice. You'll now need to make this a dot dat file. So I'll just name this, hi everybody, and then click save. Now come back here to Anime Studio, double click on your switch layer, go to switch, and now instead of this time of finding a sound file, we're going to find a data file. Here's my data file, click open and OK. You can see now in Anime Studio, we have created a bunch of keyframes, the same keyframes we basically applied in Papagayo. So now if we play this out. Hi, everybody. I'm recording in Anime Studio. 
you can see that the effect is much more convincing than that of the first method I showed you. Sometimes the first method will work good. Other times you may need more detail, and that is where this method will come in. Anyway, that wraps up this lesson on lip syncing. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I have many more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so check those out, and I'll see you next time.